Welcome back. The news and details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi hailed the coordination level between Egypt and Jordan in issues of mutual concern, as well as their keenness on boosting joint Arab work in a way that serves countering the challenges facing the Arab nations in the current stage. This came during the President's meeting with Jordan's King Abdullah II in Samman Palace in Amman. Presidential spokesman Bassem Mradi said that the two leaders held one-on-one -on -one talks which were followed by an extensive session which saw the participation of the two delegations of Egypt and Jordan. The presidential spokesman added that the talks covered means of boosting bilateral relations. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and Jordan's King Abdullah II agreed to push ahead with efforts to revive the negotiations path for the Palestinian cause. President Sisi arrived in the Jordanian capital earlier on Monday upon an invitation from King Abdullah II to discuss bilateral relations and regional issues. The two leaders first held one-on-one -on -one discussions and then extensive talks in the presence of delegations from both countries according to presidential spokesman Bassam Rodi. During the meeting, both sides agreed to push forward bilateral consultations and coordination in order to unify Arab and international efforts to revive the international mechanisms of the Palestinian-Israeli peace process. In parallel with the efforts to achieve a national reconciliation between the Palestinian parties, the head of the state stressed that Cairo will continue its tireless efforts on this issue, given that it's one of the country's fundamental policies. King Abdullah voiced this appreciation for the relentless and uh, applicable efforts exerted by Egypt to support the Palestinian cause, stabilize the situation in the Gaza Strip, and better the humanitarian, living and economic conditions there, as well as to achieve political consensus among all Palestinian factions in order to facilitate reconciliation. Sisi and Abdullah also agreed to reinforce endeavors that aim to mobilize the international community's efforts to reach political settlements to the crisis in some of the region's countries, as well as to undermine terrorism, restore security and stability, and preserve the territorial integrity of these countries. The two Arab leaders exchanged views about the Egyptian-Jordanian efforts to strengthen the trilateral cooperation with Iraq agreeing to intensify coordination to implement development projects and plans between the three countries to achieve the aspirations of the three peoples. Upon the directives of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Egypt sent a plane of medical aid to Jordan as part of Egypt's efforts to support nations amid the coronavirus crisis. The General Command of the Armed Forces ordered the delivery of medicine and medical supplies in cooperation with the Ministry of Health. The aid sent is a reflection of the strong Egyptian-Jordanian relations. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli told the newly sworn in parliament that the government's priority is to spare the Egyptian people of the repercussions of the coronavirus pandemic. This was part of the government's statement to Parliament, which he delivered on Monday. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli delivered on Monday the government's statement to the new Parliament, one week after the newly elected MPs were sworn in. Madbouli said that the government program reflects the assignments of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. He said that the program Egypt's breakthrough 2018-2020 is meant to achieve a major progress in the coming period and to guarantee that citizens reap the fruit of the economic reform program. The Prime Minister said the government has been in office for two and a half years, noting that the past year was a difficult year for the humanity in general. He said the government's priority was and still to spare the Egyptian people the repercussions of the coronavirus pandemic. Madbouri said the government is keen on implementing social programs to support citizens, noting that 3.4 million families benefited from the Solidarity and Dignity program for financial support. He noted that the program aimed at preserving and expanding water resources. Madbouri said a number of new sewage stations were established in addition to seven desalination stations in northern Sinai, Matruh and the Red Sea. He noted that the armed forces and security forces took part in achieving water security. The Prime Minister also noted that the program achieved self-sufficiency in electricity as a result of implementing electricity and renewable energy projects. He said that by 2023, 
Egypt will achieve self-sufficiency in petroleum products. In addition to achieving self-sufficiency in natural gas and providing its thousands of houses, he added that 2,575 development projects were implemented in Upper Egypt. The Prime Minister said that 159 sprawling areas were developed and 85,500 new housing units were established. He added that 2,500 kilometers were developed as part of the state's plan to develop the country's roads and bridges network. The Prime Minister added that the project to establish electric train and monorail have been launched. Medbouli said the government's investment over the past two years reached 324 billion Egyptian pounds. The Prime Minister noted that 44,000 companies were launched with local or foreign investments. He added that the government managed to attract $10 billion in development funds in 2020. Minister of Defense and Military Production Mohamed Zeki met on Monday with Greek Army Chief of Staff Konstantinos Floros and the company delegation during his visit to Egypt, which lasts for days. The meeting tackled several files of common interest in light of the latest regional and international developments and their impacts on the security and stability of the Middle East, as well as means of boosting joint cooperation between the armed forces of both countries. During the meeting, Zeki stressed the keenness on fostering strategic partnership between Egypt and Greece in various domains, particularly the fields of defense and security, and asserted the importance of coordination between the two sides. Meanwhile, Egypt's chief of staff held a meeting with his Greek counterpart where they discussed several issues, especially the distinguished joint drills that aim at restoring stability and security in the region.